a group of gorillas in a southern U.S. zoo have been infected with COVID-19. Several gorillas at Zoo Atlanta in the southern U.S. state of Georgia tested positive for COVID-19 virus, the zoo said. The western lowland gorillas were tested after keepers saw them coughing and other symptoms, it said. Initial tests indicated they were positive for SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19, and the zoo said in a statement Friday it was awaiting the results of confirmatory tests from the National Veterinary Services Laboratory in Ames, Iowa. They tweeted, update on our gorilla population. Zoo Atlanta has received presumptive positive test results indicating that members of its Western Lowland Gorilla Troops are positive for SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Gorillas at risk of developing complications were being treated with monoclonal antibodies and the zoo's whole population of 20 gorillas was being tested. The teams are very closely monitored. The affected gorillas and are hopeful that they will make a complete recovery. They are receiving the best possible care, said Sam Rivera, Senior Director of Animal Health at Zoo Atlanta. He said, we're very concerned that these infections occurred, especially given that our safety protocols when working with great apes and other susceptible animals species are, and uh, throughout the pandemic, have been extremely rigorous. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. So it begs the question, how did these gorillas become infected with COVID-19? The zoo said it believes the gorillas were infected by an asymptomatic keeper despite the employees being fully vaccinated and wearing personal protective equipment. While humans are known to be able to transmit the virus to animals such as gorillas, and these cases have occurred at other zoos as well, there's currently no data to suggest a zoo that zoo animals can transmit the, humans, the virus to humans, the zoo said. In any case, it said visitors did not pose a threat due to the distance between them and the primates' habitat. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution reports that 13 of the zoo's gorillas were infected, including 60-year-old Ozzy, the oldest male gorilla in captivity. Rivera told the paper Ozzy that would, uh, with, uh, was showing a mild symptoms. They said, we don't feel that we're out of the woods. We're taking it on a day-by-day -day basis. Zoo Atlanta said it has been authorized to use the Zoes, Zoetis COVID vaccine, developed for animals, and it would inoculate the gorillas when they recover. The zoo said it was also vaccinating its orangutans, Sumatran tigers, African lions, and clouded leopards. COVID-19 has also been known to infect domestic cats and dogs. This was by agents France Press on Science Alert. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.